folks and welcome to Sapcook Garden Centre and uh, I'm going to just show you a few snippets from the place and see what's available so we're just looking at the furniture garden furniture um, all different varieties these are all the bedding plants so it's, it's quite a big garden centre I'm not sure how much I'm going to film before the battery goes but we'll see so you've got all the sorts of furniture here it's a nice little high table isn't it with the stools many plants in this centre. There's just a few rhododendrons. They look beautiful. Just look at those. Got all different types. Orange. Oop, red ones. Just beautiful. Can you just get some idea of the size of the place and this is just a part of it. Just look at the Ubrisha. Doesn't that look beautiful? The right stunner. It's part of the uh, deciduous section. I won't go all around here because it's not what I've come for. But, uh, very beautiful. It's a lovely garden centre. Lovely selection of roses. All different types. All the way along here. And then you've got some uh, conifers. Beautiful. Look at those. Just a small selection of the perennials, what they have here. Okay, Paul, if you're watching, you might be interested in some of these. These are just a few of the ornaments this garden centre's got. As of mentioned before some garden centres have got hundreds so uh, there's all sorts of um, garden things here some is aged some is uh, a bit more modern and we've got look what we've got here things like this so what would that be a sundial would it i think it is i could be wrong but anyway Everything from these sort of um, troughs and uh, tubs and what have you, all around here, it gives you an idea of the prices. £27 for these, it's very nice. So we're now inside and this is where all the plug plants are. Um, this is where I buy my mini plugs from. Now obviously it's coming towards the end of the uh, planting season so uh, they're not going to be looking so good now as what they were earlier on in the season. It's nearly April. 
see there's a lot of blank spaces. This was really full before. There is just so much available. Just look at it all. Let me just take you around. This whole area is full yeah, of yeah. birds. Oh, okay. What a collection. Let's have a little walk around and see. There's all different feet, all different uh, um, containers for different birds, feeders I should say. Um, some will attract finches, some will attract um, ticks and oh, so many. Some will protect them against uh, uh, squirrels, well meant to, like that one down there. This one here. Um, beautiful. Some will, will look a bit like nest boxes from a distance, but they're not. Just look at them all. If you're watching from abroad, uh, bird watching is a um, very. It, it's something that interests many people. It's a, a growth industry. Now obviously I'm being careful, there's a lot of people here today so I've got to be careful with the filming because you're not meant to put people into the shop so that's why there may be more of certain... Uh, um, the garden centres often have all sorts of uh, gifts and that and these are just a few what are on offer here Look at the tools, what are available. All different types, the different size people, some for short people, disabled, and you know, some are based on our old fashioned uh, kit, and some are modern. So much. I don't know whether you have these abroad, but this is a common wheelbarrow that's used in most gardens and allotments. Come on to the seeds. And if I just take you across here. The seeds go all the way. 
down to there. So many. So it's a lovely little garden centre, folks. If you're living local in Leicestershire, worth a visit. So that's it, folks. That's my little tour for today. As I say, there's lots of plants here what I haven't shown you, but there's lots of people around, so I have to be careful. Okay, thanks for watching.